Okay, guys, I'm back for another exciting episode of Comms 101, talking from end to end. Once again, sorry about the monitor. Um, I'll get it straightened out soon where I can make this full screen. Uh, I was trying to zoom. I've tried to zoom in a little bit to let you see this because we're going to be on the whiteboard a good bit more today. Um, this part of Comms 101 focuses on two wire. So, in episode one, I explained the difference in between four wire and two wire. So, um, we're going to talk about that a little bit more. Um, the equipment that does two wire in today's world and the equipment that does four wire and why they both exist, why one is better than the other. It's really not. There's a place for both, but um, they both definitely have their advantages and shine when they're being used in those advantages and really can be pretty problematic when they're used outside of those situations. So um, I've done a little bit of pre-drawing. Maybe it's a good thing, maybe it's a bad thing. Maybe it'll fit, maybe it won't. But uh, two wire is, and I'll get into this in probably the very next episode, and that is a terms episode of what do people mean when they say a party line or two wire or belt packs or RTS or ClearCom. These things are kind of interchangeable. They're kind of like Kleenex and tissue. Um, there's some upsides and downsides to each of the terms when they're common terms and kind of misused. But um, let's go into it. The, this is a BP325 made by RTS. Um, ooh, can I not draw in this part? Uh, we're gonna use purple. Yep, because this is a two wire portion. This is, I can't draw here. Oh, this is abysmal. RTS, Telex. These are party, wire, party line uh, products. This is a four wire to two wire converter in its strictest sense. Just like we talked about the telephone being a four wire or two wire to four wire. I'll have a, a nerd uh, quiz for you at the end of this. What's the difference in between a four wire to two wire converter and a two wire to four wire converter. Hopefully you'll be thinking about that and hopefully I'll remember to bring that up at the end of the episode. So in its strictest sense, this BP belt pack 325 is a four wire to two wire converter because on the bottom of the jack, um, I can't draw on this, but um, on the inside here, it takes a regular old XLR and this is the primary input because comms normally run uh, males to the belt pack. And it takes the three pins of an XLR, and this is a, a, a RTS product or Telex product or Bosch product. Um, it takes the three pins of the XLR and makes two talk circuits. If you'll notice up here, it's got two volume knobs and it has two push to talk buttons. This RTS belt pack running on a single XLR can give you two channels. So it's a two channel belt pack. All right, and that's uh, pin one to two is one talk path and pin one to three is another talk path. Um, and then it has headset outputs, one for a mono headset and one for a stereo headset. The stereo headset would mix in between channel one and channel two. Um, and this even actually has a program volume input with some, din, uh, some dip switches on the inside of the pack. You can program this thing to do a lot of different combinations. Uh, this is a belt pack, two wire system. Also in the cable, in the XLR cable, is enough voltage to run this belt pack and provide headphone amplification and it's called wet comms wet meaning there is voltage present on this um, so within the one xlr we have uh oh i've messed it up now 
within the one XLR, we have power and two channels of, of voltage, or two channels of comms here. Now let's go on to a ClearCom product that is essentially the same thing. It's their version of a BP. Um, you've all seen this. This one happens to be a 601. I don't know what it stands for, but it has one channel of talking over one XLR. Uh, ClearCom uses one XLR to accomplish one channel of comms. It has a volume knob, it has a push to talk switch, it has a call button. We won't get into how those work in the two systems, but this belt pack and this belt pack speak very different languages. There is some situations where they will work together, but please just do not think of them as being compatible. So this belt pack, the bottom of it looks like this. It has an XLR in and an XLR loop out, or XLR in and XLR loop out, and then it has a head headset jack. This is also essentially, because we are thinking in the most basic terms, a two wire to four wire converter. This belt pack runs on a two wire system and then creates the four wire of a headphone and a microphone. Now, there are things that are two wire to four wire converters, and I'll get into that a little bit later, but the next thing in the presentation is a product from ClearCom. It is a part number that I will get to you here in just a second. Let's see, it is a system to system adapter. Its point is to join systems because uh, this is a two wire or TW 12C. And it is, if you can see here, it has system one and system two. This is meant to isolate one system from another, yet let the audio pass, okay? Um, this is what the front of it looks like, and it has some adjustments for volume. This, um, the, the RTS counterpart for this, and I'm gonna go into examples of why this would be needed in just a minute. But the RTS counterpart for this is the SSA, System to System Adapter, 324 or the 424. These are just different uh, models that accomplish the same uh, purpose. System to System Adapter, taking away the voltage, putting it uh, into a audio only path so that systems can be joined. Um, and I'd like to <laughs> give some examples of why this, where this might be needed. I'm sure that everyone has an example in their mind as I go through this, but um, if you have a system, in my, I use a television truck in my examples, but it could be a flyaway pack, it could be a, um, a kit of anything, uh, audio kit, and you're going to try and interface with the house. Uh, the house is presumed to have a system um, we're going to draw that here, and you've got a system in here. Well, I'll tell you what, you can't, no man can serve two masters, right? So you cannot have a power supply from one system, like the house, and a power supply for a system like in the television truck, and they both coexist if they are just simply connected with an XLR there are two power supplies and this won't work. It'll create a lot of noise. If you don't have any other choice and they are of the uh, same variety, like ClearCom on each end, then you can just turn off one of the power supplies. Pretty simple. Um, and this will provide, in my example right here, of this being a ClearCom uh, system, this will provide one channel of comms in between the truck and the house. Might be great for spot operators or for pa passing comms of some need, one channel around the house. Um, let's go into something else. What if this uh, television truck is RTS and the house is ClearCom? Which in my experience is very common. ClearCom's all oftentimes found in the house. Um, you would be putting two wire comms from here, and in the most basic sense, you would be putting two wires from here. 
Um, but we actually need a box, and I'm going to use um, a color here and a color here. Well, these products that I listed down below, the SSA324, the um, two wire 12C, are, are, are exemplified here in this box. And essentially what happens is you plug one into one side, one into the other, you adjust for their system types, and you now have audio only passing in between the two trucks or two systems. Um, I am not familiar enough with the two wire 12C to know if it can cross brands. Um, but if we were to say we need to do this uh, Clearcom to RTS, we can do that with a 324 or a 424, both of these being um, an RTS SSA. So we can accomplish this with an SSA 324 or an RTS SSA 424. Both of these will work for a system to system adapter on this. Um, let's go on up to what we would do if we wanted to hook two trucks together in, um, let's say you have a, a side by side broadcast and this truck director needs to hear that truck director and this producer needs to hear that producer. and I don't know, graphics needs to hear this graphics, just for some coordination. That would be a lot of system to system adapters and a lot of two wire uh, connections. So this is where we might wanna stay in the four wire. And this is a teaser to the upsides of four wire. Um, each one of these trucks basically has a, um, I'll use green, has opportunities, ports, or paths to make a four wire connection. I've done some advanced drawing here, so go with me that this is basically a four wire connection. We have a talk path out, and we have a listen path in, right? And I can keep doing this. This is one talk path in the green box, but here's another here's another, here's another, and then we have the, the, the talk paths. Sorry, I may have said that backwards. Well, what if we just took the same opportunity, switched around the perspective from now the yellow truck. The yellow truck has a four-wire opportunity, a four-wire port, and it has four of these. And we are going to talk into their listen hole and we're going to listen on their talk hole and now we have created a bi-directional four wire talk path and this awesome art job that I've done so far shows you how we could do this four times for four different departments to talk from truck to truck and this is very common in television and would happen on many broadcasts from a webcast partnered with a, a television a linear broadcast or a home broadcast and an away broadcast or a screen show, a uh, jumbo show for the uh, in-house guests and the broadcast for the out-of-house guests. A lot of times these coordinations are done. And the four-wire path is the greatest way to do this because the talk signal and the listen signal are absolutely discrete and independent and never blended like they would be if they were made into a two-wire path. So when you need the highest quality, most control out of your audio communication path, you really want to stick in the four-wire path, four-wire type. And this is done in between systems very commonly it's hacked together or adapted in this two wire world using SSAs but essentially just remember this is the same thing happening in a two wire world it that's just, this SSAs breaks it down into two into two two wire two paths a talk and listen and four wire paths 
So next episode, we're going to be talking about terms. Tune in.